Today we're looking at ynetnews.com. Uh, this is a online um, publication that comes out daily from Israel. Um, now it purports to be a news outlet, but it on the face of it, it looks like it's just pure propaganda. It's the only thing that we've seen on the internet that would accuse Amnesty International of an anti-Semitic pogrom uh, and also uh, has challenged Archbishop Desmond Tutu, uh, calling him anti-Semitic and a racist. The 15th of August, uh, it published a piece on uh, with the headline, Flotilla Captain Wants to Visit Israel. And this is about a letter written by um, Captain Shane Dillon, who is the skipper of the Irish ship to Gaza, MV Searsha. He wrote a letter to the um, Israeli embassy in Ireland to the ambassador Boaz Mordai and uh, he wants to basically um, have a discussion about peace but it's interesting that at the end of the article it refers to uh, protests that are happening in Dublin every Thursday outside the Israeli embassy. According to Ynet News um, these protests were escalating uh, and that there were anti-Semitic slogans being displayed. So we decided to have a look at that and test, as I said, the veracity of Ynet News. And this is what we came back with. Dozens. <laughs> Sorry? They claimed there was dozens of people down here. <laughs> yeah. How many people are here each week? Well, uh, not anything from two to five on average. Like... It's never really more than that, Luke. So it's certainly not dozens. We'd love dozens, but that's kind of not the point of what we're doing here. It's just the consistent presence every week in solidarity with the weekly protests. You know, and to raise awareness, some awareness with the traffic passing by, and, uh, you know, and to, to let the North Zionists know that we're here and that we haven't forgotten. But it's not about the numbers thing, it's just about a consistent a consistency every week. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, I mean, the guys in Palestine that we're in contact, uh, they're really happy with what we're doing. And I guess I suppose that we're happy that it annoys the Zionists so much. Uh, yeah, they said they, were, they had a picture of uh, one of, one of the, uh, the posters that we've been using uh, for five or six months, and it's a Carlos Latouf cartoon, and uh, it's, a, it's a picture of a Palestinian guy, and his head is in like a stock, but it's actually the, the apartheid wall, and uh, on that wall is painted the, uh, the Israeli flag. It was very clever, actually, what happens is... Uh, you know, if you believe in coincidences or not, there was a woman that walked by and put a complaint in with the guards that the poster was anti-Semitic. Uh, and I suppose because that happens, they can then write about that and say it is anti-Semitic. Uh, I'd just like to make a point though that uh, earlier in the year we had a couple of uh, rabbis from N the uh, Nutra Carter uh, uh, they came down and joined us in the protests, and, uh, and uh, you know, and they wasn't offended with anything we had, you know, so I'm quite comfortable. Like, I'm not anti-Semitic, and no one else here is. We wouldn't have anyone here who's anti-Semitic. The organisers of the protests said that they haven't been communicated to by any authorities, Israeli or otherwise, about any pending legal action.